Yesterday, Hillary, Courtney, and I were talking about Eminem, the rapper who was all over social media yesterday after bashing President Trump in a freestyle rap at the BET Awards. And on the surface, we all were really fast to praise Eminem. And that got me thinking about how in vogue it is right now to bash the president. And I've done it too at times. And sometimes I'll admit the president's made it pretty darn easy. Town Hall had a great quote saying some people in the media world would rather walk barefoot on broken glass than say something nice about the president. And the big difference between now and really any other time since Richard Nixon is simple. Bashing the president is good for business, ratings, sales, even record sales, you name it. According to Town Hall, Stephen Colbert went from worst to first in the ratings in a year. His formula? Bash President Trump. MSNBC was a joke a year ago. Today, they're the most watched cable news network beating Fox News. And the ratings for Saturday Night Live just hit a 22-year high with Alec Baldwin playing Donald Trump and Melissa McCarthy playing the former Sean Spicer. And fake news leaders CNN and New York Times have both seen ad revenue soar. And now everyone is piling on, which brings me to this. And any fan of mine who's a supporter of his I'm drawing in the sand a line you're either for or against. And if you can't decide who you like more in your split on who you should stand beside, I'll do it for you with this. Back to Eminem now. That's him bashing the president earlier this month, and the clip is absolutely everywhere. And while everybody praises Slim Shady, I realized he's not doing anything that CNN MSNBC and The Washington Post aren't already doing except Slim Shady swears throughout that four minute rant. If you think about it, this is a guy who hasn't had a number one song in over 10 years. I looked it up. It was a song called Smack That, and it was really a 2006 Akon song featuring Eminem. He's 44 years old now, and I haven't heard his name, and I can't tell you how long, and guess what? He knows that too. So what better way to sell records? How about bash Donald Trump? And his timing was perfect here, because according to the Detroit News, his new album drops November 17th.